Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode. Today, it's all about finishing off the transfer window. There is a new player that I'm looking at, although I'm not sure if I'm going to go for that specific player, but certainly a position that I'm looking to improve in. Well, actually, no, not necessarily improve in, but definitely get some backup because, as you know, Giroud has gone. Let's show you the team at the moment. Um, that's not where I want to go. I have Lacazette, of course, up front, and I have Welbeck on the bench. But Giroud, well, I haven't sold Giroud, but he will be gone. That's that's what I'm trying to say. I, I want to I want to include him in a deal with a new striker coming in. So I haven't sold him yet, but the plan is to. And I will need, obviously, a third striker. Now, the question is, do I want someone better than Welbeck? So he goes on the bench and Welbeck drops to the reserves. Or do I want someone that's, you know, back up to Welbeck? So if both my strikers get injured, he then comes on. I'm trying to think here. I've got 30 million, roughly, to spend. And I think it would be... It'd be a bit silly of me to not just go in and, and buy a proper good striker that can be pretty much close to Lacazette. I'm thinking, you know, around 82 rated to 84 rated, something like that. So I think that's what we're going to do um, before deadline day and on deadline day. We also have a game against Liverpool coming up, which is going to be an interesting one. And of course, we're going to do a squad report and see how we've started this season, see if there's any growth. Um, so I guess what we need to do is work out what strikers I'm interested in. To be fair, guys, there isn't actually that many that I'm interested in. I've shortlisted three, I think it is. Um, and I'll show you those three choices right now. So we have Timo Werner, young, German. I think he would fit in very well with my setup. We've then got Ben Yedder and uh, Correa. I mean, three short players, similar, similar type players, you know, really quick, good with the ball. Um, Timo Werner, I think, is probably going to be the highest rated. He's 84. I think Ben Yed is probably around 81, 82. Actually, he might... I don't know what his starting rating is, so I don't really want to try and guess that. Um, and Correa probably isn't higher than Werner either, even after a season. So we've got three solid choices there. We have one of them with a release clause. We have Ben Yedda, 40 million. So we can't quite afford the release clause, but that's a good sign. I reckon I could get him for maybe around 30 and he would be a solid choice. Werner, I mean, I can imagine he would get along with the German players at the squad already. You know, you've got Goretzka, another young German. Um, we could also have Mustafi and Ozil. You know, it kind of makes sense. We have a bit of a German quartet at Arsenal, if that's the right word. Um, but then again, Correa and Ben Yedder would be great choices. So I think for now, I'm going to scout these two guys. We're scouting Correa and Ben Yedder. And Werner, we already have his rating so I can look at his stats already but we, we know what Werner's about and I think he would be an absolutely fantastic player for us so those are the three targets um, what we need to do right now is well we need to scout them before deadline day hopefully we can get that done and the game against Liverpool is coming up very soon let's see if we get information back yet I don't think we're going to get anything back that's not good. That is not good at all. So now we're going to be at deadline day after this match and we don't have the information we need. So it's going to be a deadline day move, which is always stressful. So I guess we're going to have to really go for it and maybe just go with Werner because we know more information about him. Either way, though, we're going to get into the game against Liverpool. Let's get this one out of the way. We're top four right now, but it's only two games in. So uh, we just need to continue some pretty decent form we've had so far. Not very nice weather at the Emirates. Very, very rainy and probably very nasty to play football in, but it's still the summer. It can't be cold or anything. Sterling starts again, got him playing on the right. And I've also brought in Ramsey. He had such a good game against Everton yesterday. And he got me thinking that, you know, although I've got Wilshere, I've got Coquelin, I've got Elneny, Xhaka, I've got so many great midfielders. I don't really give Ramsey enough game time. So I think in season two, I'm going to try and use him a lot more. But Goretzka is the main man. He's still the main man. Oh, no, Mane's through. Ooh, that was close. That pass almost went through. Luckily, Kolasinac was back and ready to intercept it. It's a nice ball in for Lacazette. We'll give that back to Bellerin. Might whip this one in for Alexis. Go on, Alexis. His Sage was there. Lacazette picks up the rebound. Ooh, OK. I think it was on target, but it's deflected out. Need to win a tackle here, please. Come on, Van Dijk. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, for a second. Just thought he was going to creep in. Very nice passing from Liverpool. And ultimately, though, the chance goes wide. Here's Sterling now against his old club. We're going to go inside. Nice bit of skill. Through for Lacazette. Great first touch. He's somehow still going. Almost kept it with Alexis. He's got it now. Oh, Lovren. Why is he so good against me? But in real life, he's basically not even a football player. <laughs> he's that bad in real life. 
Here we go again though. Ramsey into Lacazette. Try and turn back. Matip this time gets in the way. Honestly, I cannot get through Liverpool's defence right now. Good tackle, Xhaka. That's what we needed. Right, let's get on the break now. Just a few minutes until half time. Alexis versus Lovren. Sterling's making a run into the box. Gonna turn. Whipping across. Go on, Sterling. Sterling's in and Carriers makes the save. Very, very close to going in at the break. 1 0 there, but I don't think that's gonna happen. How many minutes added on are we gonna have? It's gonna be two. Yeah, two minutes added on. I might be able to get one more chance before the break. Let's see if we can give this to Lacazette. And now get it over to Bellerin. He's always getting forward. He's done really well again here. And I'm going to drive it into the box. What a ball for Xhaka. Oh, what a finish. Granite Xhaka. I mean, I've got mixed feelings about him in real life. He's a great player, but sometimes he's just clumsy and slow. But in FIFA, he is. He's fantastic. He really is. What a strike from our captain, our new captain. Really, really good finish. Very good. No chance for the keeper. And that is half time. Great timing to score. Oh no, that's not great. Straight away after the break. Here come Liverpool. Coutinho gets the shot away. Oh wow. Again, those those shots that don't really have much power behind them, it seems to really confuse my goalkeeper all the time. But it's it's such an accurate shot. There's not much I would have been able to do about it anyway. Luckily, it was just off target. My turn to get forward again now. Kolasinac has done well. Inside here to Lacazette. Is he in? Shot goes away. Come on, Sterling against his old club. There we go. Sterling in for Meza Ozil today. And he has justified his selection. Another goal goes to Raheem Sterling. He's been so good for us. What a signing he's proved to be already. The assist, I guess, is kind of an assist from Lacazette. But really, Carrius should be doing better. How many goals has he got in the league now? Is that two? I think it might be. No, it's his first goal in the league. He scored in the Community Shield, I believe it was. And has he scored in a different game? He might have. I can't remember anymore, but so happy I signed him. Oh, what? What is that? Get away from me. Oh, how has he got through my defence so easily? He just walked through them. Ten minutes left and Liverpool are really switching on now. They're starting to play some brilliant football and I'm actually struggling to keep possession. Why didn't they do this earlier? I don't know. Oh, my God. Coutinho just did me. He did me hard. Oh, no. And Salah gets his goal. Okay. What do I do at this point? Do I defend? Do I go attack? I think I think I might need a third goal, guys. I'm not feeling it right now. You guys know defensively I'm all over the place at the moment, so I might need another goal here. Here we go. Come on. Pass that inside. Lovely ball. And again. And again. And again. Come on. Finish it. No. I did it. I did it too much. One too many passes, but I think that's going to be the end of the game. I don't think Liverpool are going to get another chance, especially if we keep possession here. There we go. In the end, that's a very good result. I will take that. 2-1 against Liverpool. We all know how that went at Anfield this season. I'm glad it wasn't a repeat of that. I can't imagine losing 4-0, but we've got the 2-1 result. And now we're going into deadline day where I need to get a new striker. So it's going to get interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, so Aguero has gone to Real Madrid. Mbappe's gone to Chelsea. And Hummels has gone to Manchester United. So Man City getting weaker. But Chelsea and United getting stronger. Interesting. So, uh, by the way, in that last game, Xhaka was man of the match. Just wanted to point that out. He had a, an absolutely fantastic performance. And I think Ramsey did really well next to him. Um, but yeah, we need to do deadline day. And I'm trying to work out who I want to go for. I think just because I have the information available, I, I think I've got to go with Timo Werner. I think he might be the best choice anyway. I think he will suit my, my style a bit more. Although... Correa, I tell you what, okay, I'm going to take Ben Yedder out of the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Out of the equation, that's what I'm looking for. Correa, he can play as a winger as well, which can come in handy. But then again, I could just throw Timo Werner on the left or the right. It wouldn't really be a big deal. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. Timo Werner is going to be the player I'm going to go for. The question is, are RB Leipzig willing to let their star man go? Let's see. His current value is 35.5 million. Let's see if we can get a swap with Giroud. If we can get them to take Giroud, that would be absolutely fantastic. He's worth 15 and a half million and I'm not really using him. So uh, we'll try that. They might reject it. Uh, no, okay, they're interested. So they want Giroud plus 42 million, pretty much. Um, I've, I've got enough money. I actually have, I had more than I thought. So I can do that, but of course, what's the point in not trying to negotiate a little bit? 
Um, I could be cheesy again and add a cheeky 15% sell-on clause because I'm never really going to feel the effect of that. That might mean I can get a little bit of money off. So let's throw in a 32.5 million pound bid plus 15% plus Giroud. Let's see if that goes through. Please, 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 no. They're not looking for a sell-on clause. Okay, so let's just try less money instead. Let's try 38. 38 and a half? No, let's go 38. I think that's a fair price. They're going to get a lot of money with Giroud being included in the deal. And it's gone through. You know when you get that black fade, that screen when it goes black, and you know you've got the deal. Okay, fantastic. So now we can delegate the wages. This is a huge tip from me, guys. Don't negotiate with the top players when it comes to contracts. You lose so much money doing it. I mean, you can't blame me. It's it's just a flaw in the game. If you delegate the deal, you get a lot more out of it. So he's on 86,000. We're going to go ahead and, well, I'll, I'll go with 85 as the starting offer. And I will go up to, up to 150. I really don't know where this is going to go. He could ask for a lot of money. So I'll go 150. If it doesn't go through, then of course we will have to go with Correa instead. So we've got a couple of hours to go. Look at Watford. They've been busy bringing in players, but mostly selling players. And uh, Gokantura has gone to PSG. Savet has gone to Sassuolo, I believe that is. We get a transfer offer for Mesut Ozil. Ha! Ah, 75 million! What? No! <laughs> what do I do? No! Why do they have to do this? Why? Why, City? They're reinvesting this money they've got for Aguero going to Real Madrid. And they are ploughing it into Mesut Ozil here. But I could get up to 120 million, roughly. I mean, it's a good offer, City, but... What do I do here? Do I reject it and keep Ozil because, you know, I still love him as a player? Or do I do, I guess, the smart business thing? And that is ask for 100 million or something crazy like that. I really don't know what to do here, guys. This is a tough one. I've got Sterling. I've got Theo Walcott. If, if I sell Mesut, I put Sterling at right wing. I'm going to need another winger, aren't I? Maybe go for Draxler. Hmm, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, I think I've decided. I'm going to counter. I'm not going to accept the deal because I think I can get more. But if I counter and they say it's too much money, then that's fine. I will keep Meza Ozil. I think that's that's how I'm feeling right now. Let's negotiate with Pep Guardiola and uh, let's see how far we can push them. So I want to... Actually, hang on. I can't ask for a player, can I? That might have been interesting. I could have asked for, like, Sane. You know, imagine having Sterling and Sane up front. Freaking hell. Um, okay. I'm going to ask for 95. 95 million will take me up to well over 150 million pounds. <laughs> okay. 95 million. Is he actually going to accept this? No. 80. That's the max they're willing to offer. Even 80 million takes us up to 140. Oh, man. If I was live streaming, I could ask you guys what you want me to do. <sighs> He's 29 years old. He's 88 rated. He is pretty much highest rated in the team because Alexis has gone down to 88. Do I, do I need him? Oh, man. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to counter one more time. I know he said that's his max, but if he can give me 85, I think I'll do it. Genuinely, I think I will. I think... I, I've, I've wondered if I was going to do this since I started Season 2. I'm going to be keeping Alexis by the looks of it. Let's sell one of them and bring in a fresh new talent that... Well, do I need to? Because Sterling... Oh, do you know what? 85. If you give me 85, we'll do it. Oh, my God. Oh my god, we just got 85 million for Mesut Ozil. I mean, guys, you may be mad at me. You may be delighted that I've done that. That's just mad, though. Absolutely mad. Okay. Um, so now, if that deal goes through, I need to bring in someone else. 
ideally I need to bring in a right midfielder. Do I go with Draxler, even though he's not a right mid? He could play there. Or do I go all out for a striker? And a, a, oh, I don't know what to do, guys. I honestly don't know what to do. I think I've only got two choices, really, guys. Draxler and Lamar. Now, at the start of this season, Lamar wasn't even approachable. It said that they weren't willing to sell him or he just recently joined, um, which, of course, wasn't true. So I knew this this might happen. I thought I'd have to wait till January. And I would like to get Lamar, but he he's more of a replacement for Alexis, if you ask me, because he is, you know, left-sided. But then again, so is Draxler. He's left-sided down the middle, but I could probably get away with using him on the right. But he would be a great player to have, you know, just a great player to have in the squad. So... I think I, I'm, I'm going to really struggle here. I think what I might do, guys, and I know some of you might not like this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to end the episode here and ask you guys to leave feedback in the in the comments. Because, or maybe I do a poll. Because I, I don't want to, I don't want to do this without asking. I want, I want you guys to kind of decide what you want me to do with, with Urzel's money. You know, the money I've got for Urzel, if it goes through, where should I spend it? So, Draxler or Lamar? That's what you guys need to let me know in the comments. Draxler or Lamar? Um, yeah, just leave a comment. I won't do a poll this time. I'm just going to see your general thoughts. Suggest any other players as well that you'd like me to bring in. But either way, I think it's going to be one of these two. And uh, it'll be great to, to get either one of them. I think I'm more inclined to go for Draxler, just because I've always loved the guy in FIFA. Um, he'd be good fun to use. So if you guys could let me know, that would be fantastic. And I will wait until I read all of the feedback. And then we will finish Dead Nine Day in the next episode. That's the best way I can do it. So thank you for watching this somewhat shorter episode, I guess it will be. But thank you anyway. Please do leave your comments below and I will see you tomorrow where we resolve this.